Hi, my name is Colin McNaughton. I'm a technical marketing manager for Ansible Automation Platform, and I just wanted to show you something really convenient about automation execution through Ansible Navigator. One of my favorite new features within Ansible Automation Platform 2, sort of within the developer experience of Ansible Automation Platform 2, is using Ansible Navigator instead of Ansible-Playbook on the command line. So here I am within my VS Code editor, and um, I have a, a long running playbook here that's finally finished executing. This runs in about 45 minutes. It takes so long because it's spinning up a lot of different infrastructure in AWS, as you can see. Um, but what I really like about it is it's not just dumping out a standard out view onto my terminal, um, which presents me with some problems if I don't have scroll back history um, to configure to, to save as many lines within my terminal. So if, um, you know, if I had a problem, you know, in the middle of execution here or an error message that was displaying in the middle of execution, I could maybe not be able to see able to see that. Um, error or info message because it's been um, written outside of the terminal. Uh, but within Ansible Navigator, I can check out all of the different plays and the subsequent tasks that executed as part of that play, um, just in a really nice view here. So I have 16 plays that executed over this, you know, 35, 45 minute time frame, and I can go in and, and check out all of them. For instance, let's take a look at number eight here, where it's um, this this playbook is configuring a private automation hub. So I'll press number eight, that drops me into all the tasks that have executed as a part of that play, and now I can inspect each one of them. Um, because I'm working in VS Code, these paths, if, I, if it prints out uh, a, a file path as part of that task, like the task path, I can open that directly within my editor. So let's say, um, you know, first, um, um, let's inspect task number five here, create a directory for automation controller. That's pretty easy. So I'll press five to go to that task. If I want, I can scroll down and at the bottom, you see this task path. That's on the local file system of my development machine. And if I hold down command and then click it, now I'm opening up not only that file, but exactly the line number for that task create directory for automation hub this is so much easier to use than just ansible playbook ansible navigator has a whole host of different features but this is just one of my favorite things to do is explore the execution of automation um, especially long-running automation where i can go back and take a look at every step of the way how it executed and uh, whether it was successful or not thanks